hello my viewer welcome and welcome back to my youtube channel if you are new here i welcome to i welcome you so much if you are monyeji welcome back so today we are doing another stitch this is it it's called crocodile stitch uh, this is how it looks usually it's done from one corner to the other so this is the starting point so you continue doing these scales so usually it grows going that way so this is one corner so it grows going outside so this stitch it's very nice on blankets on scarves on equamas and so today we are going to learn this so we start here is my yarn to start this we make a slip knot this is how to make a slip knot There it is and we make a chain of four there it goes and now we are going to slip stitch on the first chain here to make a ring we slip stitch now we have a ring We make a double crochet, I mean, sorry, we chain three. This is like our first double crochet. And now inside this ring, we make four double crochets. Now together with, uh, with this chain three, we shall have five double crochets. So we start, we do four double crochets, that's one. And two, three, and four. So in total now we have five double crochets here. We chain one, we make a chain of one. And we do five more double crochets. This is to make our first sh uh, first uh, scale. These are the scales. So we are doing this. So now we do five more double crochets. That is two. Three. Four. And five. So the chain one that we did here, it is going to be the tip. If you look at it, it's like a small heart. So this is this one, the first one. Now we want to go to the second row where we do two of these scales. So now to go to, uh, to the second row, we start by making a foundation for that row. And by this I mean you chain three and on the base of that, at this point we make a double crochet like that so that at this point we have two double crochets we make a chain of one 
Now at the center of this ring, if you remember the, uh, the ring that we had, we are going to make two double crochets like that. That is our first double crochet and there goes our second. Now we have two here, two uh, in the beginning. We make a chain of one and at the end of this other side we make two double crochets and that is the foundation for the second uh, for the second row of shells sorry not shells but uh, scales so there it is now you want to do um, second row of these scales the way we did the first one so now you realize we have um, two double crochets at the same point again the same and again the same on to these ends it's where we are going to be forming the shells here it is this is the shell that we did this one and now we are going to do these ones which we've already done the foundation the foundation is under here so you get to know or to understand it when we do so to continue with this in this space we want to do five double crochets on this uh, double crochet so we do five double crochets That is one, two, three, four, and five. There are my five double crochets, as you can see. Now it's this shell. Now you want to jump to the other shell. Sorry, we have not finished this shell. We have done one side. And so to do the other side, as we did here, we did a chain of one to make that tip. So again, we make a chain of one. And now to finish this uh, scale, we have the other double crochet. Uh, you tend to, it's, it's like tilting or turning your work but at the same side so we want now to do five double crochets on this other double crochet as we did on this side so it is inside that double crochet so you can hold your work like this and do five double crochets and that is the second one the third, the fourth, there is the fourth, and finally the fifth. When you finish that, now place your work facing the front side, and there goes our second skill. That is the first scale of the second row. So the other one, we are going to place it here. And now to do that, remember at the center here, we also did two double crochets. Now inside the two double crochets, we make a slip stitch. It might be tricky, but once you get used to it, it's very easy so we make that slip stitch so that uh, this end is held at that uh, at that point and now we continue with the other side now we want to make uh, another uh, scale here so now we do five double crochets on this double crochet 
to do that we start by you hold your work this way to reveal the double crochet and so we do five double crochets in there so that is two three four and five we finish on that side now before we go to this other side we make a chain of one to make that tip and now this is one side of the shell this is how it looks like here is our first shell of the second row this is half done on this side now we want to work on this other side to complete so we also do five double crochets uh, in that double crochet that is one two three four and five so when you place it this way now you have the first row done the first row of scales and now the second row is also done which has two scales and you realize as you go up the number of scales increase by one in each row so we started by one we've done the second row which has two scales and now we want to go to the uh, third row which has three scales this is one two and three so we continue doing this continue with this row again we do it just as we did with the previous row so at this point we make a chain of three there it is and at the base of that uh, chain we also do a double crochet we do a double crochet there such that we have now two double crochets there they are and now we get to the center of this scale you remember how we did with this as you can see we did two double crochets in that same um ring so inside this ring we also uh, do two double crochets so you work two double crochets inside there there it is again between that other uh, two shells of the previous row there is a space now of the two double crochets of the previous row so we also do two double crochets inside there there must be a space inside the two so you do again two double crochets there before you do that sorry you chain one even before we did this we should have chained one sorry for that so you chain one you do two double crochets inside there we chain one between the uh, these two scales we do two double crochets again chain one don't forget as I did again inside this shell this scale i keep uh, confusing these words we do another set of two double crochets we 
we chain one and now on the last uh, double crochet that well, was our starting point of the previous row we do another two double crochets if you find this uh, tutorial going too fast please you can reduce the speed to be comfortable and so there is the foundation of our third row this is how it is two double crochets at the same point again two double crochets inside that scale two double crochets at that point where they meet two double crochets in the other scale and at the end of that other shell scale so we continue you remember what we did with um, the previous row now we want to do five double crochets following this double crochet so inside here we do five double crochets let's go that is one we have two we have three four and five now we chain one we want to do uh, to finish on the other side of that scale after you chain one now there is this other double crochet your work now facing away from you we want to work five double crochets on this double crochet so inside that double crochet we make five double crochets one two three four and five so now when you turn it on the front side there it is formed so we continue you remember to the next double crochets we do a slip stitch so we go inside that double the two double crochets here they are we make a slip stitch and so our first scale of the third row is done to continue you want to work five double crochets on this other uh, double crochet so we go one two three four five As we did here we chain one and then we turn to make uh, to complete the shell on this other double crochet so on that we do five double crochets we have done one so we do four more three four and five this is how our work looks like from this side this is the front side this is the back so you can easily see the difference between front and back so now on our third row we have done two scales we want to finish on the third um on the third where we should do our 
third scale so we finish this by slip stitching in between the two double crochets here that's done now we turn our work away from you and do five double crochets here that is one two three four and five chain one go to the other double crochet which is this one and make five double crochets that is one two three four and five And our third row is done. So the way uh, you increase, I mean how it increases is by the first row we did one shell. On the second row we did two shells here, this one and this one. On the third row we did one, two and three. So as you increase each row, a shell, a scale is increased. Even going this way, you count the same. One, two, and three. So you, you count the number of rows by how many shells you've done. You can simply count the tenth row. You can tell the tenth row by counting the number of shells like this is row three because it has three scales so here is the one that i did earlier i did up to the fourth row so now we do the final row and that will be done for this tutorial so let's do this one we chain three On the base of that, we do a double crochet, we chain one, two double crochets inside this um, sh uh, scale, we chain one, between the two scales, we do two double crochets, sorry. We finish that and do another one on the other shell we chain one before going to the other shell inside that shell we do two double crochets in between the two shells here we do two double crochets and remember we are not chaining between two double crochets. We are sh uh, we are chaining one before we got the other set of double crochets. Like now, we chain one and make two double crochets here. Again, chain one and make the last double crochets here. And now our foundation row of this fourth row is done. Now we start making the scales. We start by doing scales here. I mean by doing double crochets, five of them. One. Two. Three, 
se ve. And now we make a chain of one to make the tip. We turn our work and work on this other double crochet. Again, we work five double crochets, that is two, three, four, and lastly, five. So there it is, our first scale. Now we do a slip stitch here. We do a slip stitch to finish that scale. So continue doing these scales to the end of this row. I meet you at the end of this row. So here is my complete uh, the four, uh, my complete four rows. This is the first row, the second row, the third and the fourth. And these are how the crocodile stitch looks like. This is awesome. If you are doing a blanket, consider using this um, stitch. It's very nice, it's warm, especially on kids. So thank you for viewing this to the end. If you've not subscribed to this channel, please hit that red button, hit and subscribe. And also touch the bell so that you get notified every time we upload. Thank you for viewing this and staying to the end. Goodbye and see you later.